Hi everybody, welcome to my tutorial. Today I'm sharing how I click the button to start the timer. Okay, now I'm play. Okay, now you can click the timer here. Okay, then the button start. Timer 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 to stop it. It will automatically stop and um, timer when it's come to 10. Okay, the button, the timer won't, won't um, be automatic start when I didn't click this button. Just uh, once I click this button, the timer will be out. So this tutorial teach me how to do the this timer. So now you can delete this timer. Okay, start again. Okay, we right click and then we create a C sharp script. Okay, we name it as timer button. Okay, now you can start to write. Okay. First, you initialize the things. Here, using Unity Engine dot UI. Semi column. And then, for this update, okay, we initialize our timer first. Float timer. Equal to zero first, okay, and then update it timer equal to time dot here the delta time, okay, automatic come out. Okay, enter it, okay. Timer time delta, okay. Now we make it to GUI. Okay, here we want on GUI. Okay, here we um, set it if the timer. Okay, if must be with package here. If timer less than 10, okay. If timer less than 10, it will be continue counting. So we want to call a GUI label, GUI dot label dot eh, label new rectangle. Okay, the rectangles will be okay. You can sign it as this is a position X. This is position Y, and then this is a uh, wish, and then this is high. And then you call it as you want to display. Okay, this is string timer equal to okay plus. This is the value for this one. This is just a string. Okay, you can just timer count. Okay. Plus this one timer, okay. This one you must plus always plus 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 means that this one timer equal to time dot delta time plus timer. You can like write this. You can like this way, okay, or this way plus equal to time dot delta time then else you can just copy paste here okay whatever string you want to write here you can write bye bye Okay.
think it should be work. You can taste it. Okay, this is timer button. After you finish writing your script, you open the main camera here. Inspector. Okay, you have two ways here. You can drag this one, put in here. Okay, no. Put in here, add component here. Okay, or you can add component. And then script. Choose script. Okay, then timer button here. Okay, and click it. Or you can just drag it to main camera. Okay, three ways here. Okay, now we we'll remove it. Remove component. Remove component. Only need one. Okay, timer button. Okay, now we create one button, game object, UI, button, okay, uh, you can click this one to move, and then open down this one, choose text, and then here you can write, okay, start. Here you can change whatever color you like. Okay, make this button function, you need to on click here, you add one object here. Click this one, just now we drop to main camera, right? The script we drop to main camera, now we open again main camera. Okay, then we choose the function. The function just now is timer button, okay? Just now, timer button. Timer button, okay? Now we click time button, but here because we just now we didn't call any function here, you can just use bold enable, and then you must remember to, remember to take this one. Okay, this one's main color because this script is already take. If you just uh play this one, even you didn't click the button, the uh the timer is still run. You can try this one. Debug it. Okay, now the timer is still running. See? Okay. So we don't want it. We want just click this button only can start. So we unclick it. Okay, now we play it. Debug it. So the timer won't coming out. Because if you take this one. Okay, now we click it. Okay, the timer only run. Stop it. Okay, now you can see the main camera because you take this one button, then it will be automatic coming up the timer. If you untick this one, the the button click on click, it will only will run this function. Okay, now we don't want so many dot there, so we open our script again. Here you can just put int, means that it only integer coming out one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we save it. Click it. Debug. Okay, now no timer here. Okay, click start button. Okay, calculate 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Bye bye. Thank you for watching my video.